Yeah, I think Scratch is a, is a, let's put it this way, there is a before and after Scratch in the world of visual programming. It's probably the first visual programming that managed to get into uh, tens of thousands of computers in the world. And uh, I think that's what makes it special, is bas basically that you actually manage to reach uh, more, much more people than anything before Scratch. Yeah, well, both Arduino and Scratch are tools uh, that are aimed first at educating people in the world of technology. So I think that's probably the most important aspect that both share. Then there is many other links that have to do with the origin of Scratch and the origin of Arduino and the origin of Arduino software tools. I mean, there is a lot of links. I mean, this world is very small, so <laughs> there is a lot of work that actually comes from MIT's tradition. Uh, within the Arduino community and people doesn't really know. We've, we've been following not only Scratch for Arduino but many other visual programming initiatives that have to do with Arduino and I think Scratch for Arduino was one of the first ones and uh, yeah, we'd like to see more of it, more of it in the future. Yeah, I think, I think Scratch has really a lot to do, uh, or a lot to say in the world of education. Um, I think there should be room for adding more blocks besides the existing block. I think there should be room for uh, creating purely graphical blocks um, that don't rely on language, so that kids at a younger age could try to learn how to program and so on. Um, and also I think should be able of running on, on future operating systems uh, like the new Firefox OS or any other operating system that are right now being built on top of HTML5. So I think uh, Scratch needs a revision. Uh, we know that the Scratch developers are working on that. And then I think it's very important that they really work on building the links to the physical world. Just you know, Arduino works with the physical world. So, so that Arduino can still be relevant for the Scratch world as well as other platforms. Yeah, I think uh, I, I'm, I was a bit surprised. I mean, I, I expected something somehow more academic, and I really like the mix of the audience in the Scratch conference. I think there is a bit of practitioners, I mean, people that do teach with Scratch, and people that are developing Scratch, obviously, that come straight from the core. And I really like the aspect that there is a lot of sessions that have to do with uh, Snap, which is, uh, which is a fork for... <laughs> For Scratch, and I, I think it's a very, it's a very open-minded setup where people come to share about the things they do, and about we can see why, why people actually had to fork this project to make something related to the project. And I believe that uh, this kind of openness is what, what will make Scratch, the future version of Scratch, a much better one, thanks to things like this conference and future visions.